Hi, I'm Henry Crew, and in this video, I'm going to be running through some FAQs on the Beeline Moto. I posted a video a while back reviewing the Beeline Moto after one year of use. If you haven't seen that video, click up above to watch it. I got a heap of questions and I thought the best idea would be to compile them all and pop them in an FAQ video, so that's what this is. Let's get stuck in. First up, plotting a route. The easiest way is just to enter the final destination and the app will create a route for you. You should get multiple route options, up to three, and you can select between these. There's different estimates of, of the journey length, but this doesn't yet take traffic into consideration. That is, however, a feature that is coming soon. The app automatically routes from your current location. However, you can change that by tapping the start location and dragging it or entering a new route up the top of the screen. You can customize your route with waypoints. To do this, either tap somewhere along the route and drag it to a point of your choosing, or enter the route in stages, um, deselect the final destination and enter a new one, and it will create waypoints um, through your destinations. Can you use a Beeline without an internet connection? Yes, you can. The only thing you need an internet connection for is plotting the route. Once you've plotted a route, you can save it for later or hit go. And once you hit go, you don't need an internet connection. The Beeline can't reroute without an internet connection, but if you do leave your plotted route, the arrow will turn clear and tell you to turn around until you rejoin the route. I find this is a really useful feature for planning trips where I know I'm gonna be in remote areas. I plot the day-to-day -day journeys in advance and save them, and then I can use them offline throughout the whole trip. How do I create GPX files and import them into the Beeline device? There are many websites that allow you to plot GPX files. They pretty much all do the same thing. The main reason I use GPX is for when I'm riding off-road as I can't create off-road routes within the Beeline app. However, there are other uses. GPX is a universally accepted file type, so if you're riding in a big group on a tour, it might be useful to share them between people that are using different devices. I use ViewRanger to create my GPX files. I find that's a really great app. There is a free version available as well. I then export the files from ViewRanger straight into Beeline like this. What happens if I take a wrong turn? If you leave your pre-planned route and have automatic rerouting turned on with an internet connection, Beeline will automatically reroute you back onto your final destination or the next waypoint. If you don't have internet connection or you don't have auto rerouting turned on, the Beeline will just point you back to the point at which you left the route. If you do have internet connection but have auto rerouting turned off, then hit the button on the bottom of the Beeline and that will make it reroute for you. How do I skip a waypoint? You can skip a waypoint in compass mode by pressing the button on the top of the Beeline device. You cannot skip a waypoint in route mode. However, you can reroute if you have internet connection by pressing the button on the bottom of the device. Does the Beeline give audio commands? No, this isn't something that Beeline does. It doesn't give audio commands and it cannot be connected to your Bluetooth headset. How long does the Beeline battery last and how does it affect my phone battery? The Beeline device lasts 30 hours on a full charge. I've found this to be really consistent through all kinds of uses from touring to daily commuting. If I'm touring using the Beeline device, I find that I charge it about once a week, which I think is brilliant. I don't find that the Beeline excessively drains my phone battery. I charge it once a day in the evening and don't have to charge it throughout the day. This differs from Google Maps because I'm not using the screen on my phone and that saves a lot of battery life. I also find when I use Google Maps, I'm having to recharge multiple times a day or keep the phone plugged in all the time, which actually harms the battery. Is the Beeline weatherproof? Yes, the Beeline is IP67 waterproof. This means that it's protected from harmful dust and can be submerged in up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. I've tested this out in some pretty extreme conditions, both on and off road and not had any issues. Can I use my Beeline Velo on a motorcycle? The answer is no, not really. The Beeline Moto is specifically designed for motorcycles and can handle much faster speeds. 
It's also waterproof, dustproof, and can handle shock and vibration. You can, however, use your Beeline Moto on your bicycle with no issues. Why would you choose a Beeline Moto over a phone mount? I used to use a phone mount before I got my hands on a Beeline Moto, and I haven't looked back since. I used to be so concerned about damaging my phone because of dust, water, vibration, or excessive shock. I no longer have to worry about that at all. The Beeline Moto looks so much better in my opinion. It also has a better battery life and doesn't degrade the battery life of my phone through excessive charging or use of the screen. The mounts are easily removable and interchangeable. I don't have to have my phone in a phone case specific for my bike all the time, and I'm not distracted by incoming calls or texts. Honestly, there are so many reasons, probably too many to list. What directions does the Beeline Moto give and how well does it work in a city? This is a question I get asked a lot. The Beeline shows you the direction of your current travel, the road that you're currently on, the direction of your next turn, how far away that turn is, the number of the exit if that turn is part of a roundabout, or the direction of exit if you're leaving a motorway or if the road splits. I've used my Beeline Moto for commuting in cities like London and other cities all over the world. I've never had a problem with it, the GPS is super accurate, and I've made no more wrong turns than I would have done using Google Maps. You do have to think for yourself a little bit more. It's not gonna give you audio commands or tell you what lane you should be in, but you should be able to work that out for yourself with the information provided. Beeline are constantly working to improve their user interface based on customer feedback. They've just updated the app and there are some really cool new features, such as multiple route options and estimated timings for those journeys. There's some cool additions to the journeys page, including information about your rides, how long you've been riding for, how many trips you've taken. There's also a heat map, which I love. I think this is really cool. And it maps out where you've been riding across the whole world. You can now choose what map type you're using, whether that's satellite, normal maps, or hybrid. You can clear a route, reverse a route, and the button to switch between Moto and Velo has been moved into the options menu, which I think is great as I have accidentally switched between Moto and Velo before. That concludes my Beeline Moto FAQs. Thank you so much for watching. If I've missed anything out, feel free to drop a comment below and make sure you check out my Beeline Moto one year review if you haven't already.